everyone knows about the tires here when you're standing and still get hit. Oh! <laughs> 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 Holy shit, man. He did like a whole flip. <laughs> now, the, these, uh... These uh like... Okay, so here's how I want to explain it, right? Okay. So movement interpolation means that on your end, you will see the player move slow, uh, smoothly mm -hmm. around the map. But the it's way like predicting that where they are. It's predicting how they're going to move because normally everything with movement in any video game is interpreted via a grid on the map yeah. that, you, that no player can see. That's how the server interprets it and then transfers that information to you, the player. If you notice when you disconnect from like a network game, either everything will stop in place or they will continue to move forward as if they just kept moving forward in the direction that they were going to go. Um, the thing is, is that the hitboxes themselves are solely tied to the server, meaning that they will pay attention only to where the player is on the grid itself. And not the player side. And not the interpreted movement pattern. So what that means is, if you, are, if you have a higher ping on the server, the movement will still look smooth most of the time on yeah. your end. But things like calculating hit detection, collision boxes, and hatchets exploding is all done server side. And if you have really good connection, the collision box will most likely be right on top of them, even with movement interpolation. But with bad connection, it will be behind them because it is still trying to catch up from the server itself. So, it, is there a way to tell pings now um, for individual players, or do you just have to sort of feel that out with Huntress? You have to probably feel it out most of the time, because I'm connected to New York servers. Yeah. That's where I'm going. Most of the time, it's okay for me. But if it can't find a server in your region, it will connect you to the closest one, which might not be very close by. The other thing I wanted to say is, that person got hit because they are... If we go into Kill Your Friends right now, I can hit yeah. you there. Like, the way she's standing, you don't want to go to that area when you're sitting. Yeah. There, there's been a few times where I've seen videos where someone was, high, like, healing at the edge of a rock kind of deal, and, like, you can't you see can their physical person. It. No, not even over. It's just to, like, to the side of it. Oh, yeah. They're close to... Really close to the edge of it. Yeah. So, like I said, female and male survivors have the same collision box sizes. So, yeah, the smaller it, models can give, make it feel different, huh? It can make it feel really different. Uh, also, the hitbox itself for the hatchet, and this is something a lot of people don't know, is not the entire size of the hatchet itself. It is a small cube directly in the center of the origin point for the hatchet. When it, you know how it flies through the air and it rotates? Yeah. It is directly in the center of mass of the of hatchet. Of the rotating? Yes. Huh. It is a cube. Meaning that there is, you know these, uh, the little bars on the brick walls? Yeah. On all the maps that, like, basically tell you the out-of-bounds area. Yeah. The smallest cube there, you can actually throw, uh, throw the hatchet through. And there is a little spot in the shack wall itself where you can throw through. Wait, actually? Yeah, it looks really Holy stupid. Holy shit. Because, like, there's so many times where, like, I'll be playing Huntress and I'm like, okay, well, let me test this loop and see if the, the, the wall, it's, if its hitbox is done right or not. It's yeah, like, will so, my hatchet hit something that's not there, <laughs> or, or will it not? I, I actually posted a video a long time ago. You got a link to behavior, it for the Discord? Behavior had it on uh, their stream. I don't remember when. Like, they talked about it. They didn't show it. Yeah. But it kind of showed, like, all the original methods that I found for hit detection on different killers and how Myers and Ghostface operate and hat Hunter's hatchets and clown bottles. For instance, the clown bottle itself is the same size as the Hunter's hatchet. I but assume that the would, bottle, yeah. Due to the bottle being smaller, it makes more sense. <clears throat> yeah. The actual, um... I mean, do you want to go into a Kill Your Friends? Like, I could show you a couple areas. Yeah, you know what? Sure, let's do it. I'll just let the other guys know. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention, uh, a couple of the different animations, because there's only a crouching and standing animation. Yeah. Even, regardless of if the survivor's healing or not, I could still throw it over and hit you, meaning that if you're trying to run, even if you think, well, there's no way you can hit me, and my, my character's blocked here, you should probably just crouch just in case. Yeah, just so the hitbox doesn't get you. Now, when repairing a generator, is your hitbox high or low? It is. It counts as standing when you're repairing standing? a generator. Oh, okay. 
when you are healing a survivor, it counts as crouching, I think. I think. Hmm. The does survivor being healed. Does crouching get your hitbox wider? Uh, crouching does get your hitbox slightly wider. Oh, maybe that's why sometimes people are getting hit at the edge of stuff. Okay. Now, another... <laughs> When someone's being healed, I assume they're crouching, but when yes, someone's doing crouching. the healing, someone they're standing? Someone that's healing them is standing. Is st oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes so sense. So basically, if you see the Huntress charging the hatchet, and you're behind the gen, you're like, well, I'll just keep repairing it, because she's she doesn't have me yet in her yeah. sights. You should probably stop repairing and crouch. Yeah. Because there's some nice cross maps I've seen because of that. <laughs> yeah, I do it all the time, and survivors are like, wow, how the hell did you hit me? Like, there's a learning curve to it, and that's why I think that hitboxes I'm still trying to learn the bad. arcs and distance, but for the most part, like, there's... I wish I could, like, watch a match afterwards and see how close my shots were so I could, like, learn from that. Rather I than mean, be I like, hey, Survivor, was I, I uh, close to you? <laughs> I stream a lot of Huntress. Plug in the Twitch, boys. Oh, yeah, baby. I stream oh, yeah. a lot of Huntress. In Wait, a Huntress's a hatchets, can they, like, uh, rebound? What do you I mean? think they break like a ricochet they and then hit you. Uh, no, the hunter's hatchets always explode on contact. I had one that it looked yeah. like it hit the wall beside me, but it's still connected. I think that's something to do with the server hitbox things. But like it blew up on the wall to my right, and I took damage. And I was like, wait, what the hell? <laughs> as long as the hitbox touches you, even if it hits the wall and explodes and it makes the impact noise of exploding on the wall, if you were even close and the hitbox touched you even a little bit when it hit the wall, damn. Because there's like a. I think five millisecond delay before it actually despawns, and therefore you can't get hit. Do you want to add me on Steam? Yeah, I just need your name. Uh, Pickle Soup. <laughs> What's the origin of that? You think it's a subs? <laughs> it's it's a whole deal. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll get into it another day. I should make an FAQ for it. All right, I think that was you. Probably. A lot of pickle soups. Yeah, that was me. Boop. And... Uh... It's not showing in the actual game yet. Yeah, I'll have to invite you this way. Right to lobby. Do you know the oh. things? Do you want to be the... Yeah, I'll show killer the killer, and then you can try it. Yeah, I, well, I, I soon have to get ready for work, so I'll probably just learn the things and then practice it later. Uh, any map will do, because there's spots on every map. We'll just let it to bring us to whatever. I'm curious on this Killer Shack one. I really want to try that. It, it You'll almost never use it. Oh, okay. It's like so there's situational. there's a very, very small window. Oh, okay. And it's really hard to actually get down if you were in an actual game. Uh, ready when you are. Damn. <laughs> about the hatchet hitting the pallet while the survivor was vaulting. Oh, yeah, yeah, that still happens. Uh, yeah. When the survivor's actually vaulting over the pallet, their hitbox doesn't get any bigger. It, it counts as them standing, and the hitbox actually moves through the pallet. And do you know how dropping a pallet works? Like, is it possible to block a hatchet with the moving down pallet? Not while it's moving. Okay, uh, yeah, that's a, it goes from point A to point standing. B kind of deal. There's only a standing hitbox for the uh, pallet and a dropped hitbox for the pallet, okay. meaning that... If I know that the hatchet can go through, I will throw it directly through the pallet and hit you. Okay. Because I know that it hasn't reached its hasn't animation landed. where it has landed. Like, while it's doing that whole animation, until it becomes fully static, it is still standing. And that's why killers got stuck in pallets, by the way. <laughs> because it did not force them out all the way, and they will get stuck in the pallet. You just landed on them and stunned them? <laughs> yeah. It, it's pretty badly coded. Let me see. So come to the killer shack. Oh, is it the window? Right here. There you go. Oh, shit, wow. dude. I assume it's not possible Whoa. to make it through this little one right here, right? No, yeah, that one is entirely possible. Wait, you have to get... It, it's, like, perfect. Let me get more hatchets. I actually did that one a couple uh, matches ago. Who did that? That blinded me as a survivor? What? Wait, wait. <laughs> I just blinded Come on. Don't get on the other side. Assume the position. 
Oh, wow. Go. Wait, what? It, it goes through, but the dedicates are oh, There we go. Hey, we oh, got him. Yep, you're done. <laughs> Again, oh, wow. you just have to think of it as a small cube. Also, come over here, and I'll show you what I mean. Like, like the, even uh, if you're sitting over here, I can still hit you. Drop the, the pallet, cube. go on the side. Doesn't matter if you're healing or not. Yeah, so drop the pallet. It has to be dropped. If it's standing, I can't hit you. Wow. Hold on. Are you crouching or standing? I was crouching. Yeah, I'd be standing. <laughs> oh wow. shit! It doesn't matter. It's still the same size, but because you're healing and the animation looks like you're wider, it's still the same thing. Uh, your best bet is to crouch there. Yeah. But, uh, so wait, what, what's the brick on this wall that is like? So you see that thing? small little square right there? Oh Jesus! So wait. Oh, you're talking something. about one of those squares, not like one of the brick squares. See, there you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wonder, can you? What about through one of these boards right here? Where? So some of the boards count as solid walls. Oh but, yeah. Uh, so do you know the nurse's new add-on where she can only go to areas in her line of sight? Yeah. You can use the same tricks with Hunter's hatchets that you can use with that, and you can go right through walls. I don't know if I can actually make wow. it through here. Yeah, I think the hatch is too wide to actually make it through there. Do you know how wide it is, just as a ref? It's, uh... So, it's like the size of the, the width of the hatchet, but a cube. Maybe a little wider than the width of the hatchet. Would you say the base of it, or the, uh, the head of it? Uh, the base of it. Get Iron Maiden there. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. right here is not a good area. If you're standing right here at the truck loop, so if someone wants to come here. So, like, stand right here. Because let's say you're on the long end and I'm trying to loop you. I have to be pretty wide off, though. Oh, Where shoot. are you? Hold on. I'm throwing it way too high up. I didn't even know you could make it over the roof safely there. And yeah, you're, no, you're like, not charging it at all, right? No, because I want the arc. <laughs> oh, shit! Wow. And again, you can just avoid that by crouching. Yeah. Like, it's not uncounterable. But even There's if people crouch, like, Hawkins. then you could have uh, distance gain, depending on how they play it. Uh, you could throw through here. <clears throat> so I was trying to loop that. I assume these windows, too. Uh, yes. They are open windows, so... Got him. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> oh, this right here. I'm pretty sure you can also throw through, like, if I have an angle. Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> It, it looks really weird because the hatchet is slightly going through objects because it yeah. doesn't count. Yeah, that looked like that went like straight through the board. But it's really nice, and it's one of I think Huntress's biggest learning curves, and that's why I think the hatchet hitboxes just say the way they are, because it's not something that can't be countered. Most of these things can be countered by just crouching. Yeah. If the survivor knows that you could do it, just crouching will counter it. I feel like the best people that encounter a Huntress are the people who play Huntress. Oh, damn! He went through two of them! Uh, there are actually some areas where even if you crouch during the loop, crouching right here... No, still... It's not enough and I could just hit you through it. Like, right there. Uh, crouching behind this car also does nothing. I will just do that. And you'll get hit. Holy shit. I'm learning so much. Stop failing the skill checks. <laughs> like, try to crouch behind the car here. On the other side. Turn Tim. Holy wow. shit, dude. Wait, let's get a side view of it. Tim, go back there again. I want to get a better view of this. And ever since I told Behavior about this, if this was before, a couple patches before they introduced the plague, on the plague's new map, they made the walls just high enough that you can't do it. Aww. Hold on. 
Holy yeah. shit, man. And again, it's a male survivor, motion. so if you look at David when he sits behind it, yeah. he's taller, so when he's crouched, you can still see him. And it looks more awkward as a female. <laughs> Everyone knows about the tires here when you're standing. I still get hit. Oh! <laughs> 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 Holy shit, man. He did like a whole flip. <laughs> now, the, these, uh, oh, these like piles of scrap that are usually like looped around. They Those ones are, have some of the sketchy They are solid boxes. objects. Now, what is the peak of it? Is it like this metal piece is the peak, or is is that metal piece invisible? That is no. invisible. Okay. <laughs> uh, it is. You have to like. It, it's weird the hitbox of this thing, because sometimes there's clear areas that you think that it would be able to go over, and, and then sometimes doesn't. there's not. I will say sometimes I just aim too low and I just end up hitting the box itself. Now, is it better to stand far away from the edge, or is it better to stand, like... Stand as close as possible to the edge. Oh, yeah? Huh. Right there, oh, I think shit. I can hit you. Wait. Oh. Holy, dude. I'm learning so much. Again, you have to learn... A lot of it is learning to treat it as a small cube that you were yeah. throwing rather than and the th actual those are magic. fully charged shots or arc shots? Those are fully charged shots that I can land over that. Arc shots are usually uh, if the walls are too high. Come on, Dino. Jesus, Dino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the walls here. Oh, the rocks? Oh, yeah, if you're standing Jesus, around Dino. the edge of the rock, I can hit you. This one's devastating here, is when you're looping around this. Like, and you see you, yeah, like I've seen this right one before. There. But if you stand stand on the other end, right here, where I'm standing. Wait, Hold on. This one's hard to get. Holy shit. Damn. And again, I treat it less of it's broken because you could still, again, just crouch. Really. Yeah. But I know a lot of survivors get pissed off at me when I do that because they're like, <laughs> oh my god, the hitboxes are so broken. They're so bad. In a way they are. In a way they are but in they're another not way, perfect, also, but they're not. They, they do it's have not a like the Huntress just kills you for free. If you yeah. know that she could do that, just crouch. What's another good one? Oh, if you're standing at the window there. Of the uh, tractor? Yeah. Oh, you have to go under the mirror? Under the mirror. That's a... Oh, got him. Ow! Because you're like, okay, well, the killer's obviously... I'm going to stay here, because that's usually a, a pretty safe window. Yeah. Let's you get out. Yo, Crow, you getting all this? <laughs> you don't mind if I make this a, a, a video, right? No, go ahead. Okay. Uh, if you're standing behind here, I can hit you. Right here. Come back here. Because a lot of survivors will sit back here when they see the killer. Just to see where they're looking to. Hold on. Oh, I... shit. Through there? Holy... Yeah, you can get hit, David. Hold on. <clears throat> I just... I literally just did it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> It's really hard because I have to like think in my head how big it is when I'm and like where it. the center of the screen exactly is. Posting this, in. no, no, it's mine, Crow. <laughs> You're gonna get wrecked. Oh, there, oh, there it is. <laughs> but yeah, that's hey, usually wait. an area that survivors like to stay because they think it's pretty safe. Left click Dino and fill your hatchets, and then I want to see if Dino can survive a chase from you. Then we'll do it with Tim, and then yeah, we'll do it with me, on. and then I'll probably call it there. Okay. Practice your looping, boys. Oh, there's one hit. I, I knew you thought that I wasn't gonna. <laughs> Got him. Animation lock. Yeah. <laughs> there's one. And that one. went right through the pallet, by the way. All, All right, right. who's next? 
He's not even refilling hatches. He's gonna get in two hits. <laughs> One. Skittering's not gonna work. Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh. There's two. Oh. Okay, refill. Hey, hey, Pickle, can you help me? Oh, yeah, I'll get right to it. <laughs> I gotta stop him. They're rushing my gens. So, what, what, what's <laughs> the quickest, like, what's the best way to, like, dodge the hatchets? Then? Be you unpredictable. Have predict you, have, yeah. you have to be have unpredictable, but there's always. You see, the thing with humans, us. That people always is that have patterns. We subconsciously yeah. use patterns, even when we're trying not to. Oh, fuck! You read me like a book! Worth <laughs> 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 <Or> the try. <laughs> so, usually when you come around this corner, survivors will either run towards the window, fake they'll, it, move to the right, and then yeah. you throw it there. Or they'll or commit to it, and then you have to you. wait for the animation. If I wait for the animation, no matter what, I hit you. Because yeah. if you know how to arc it perfectly, even if you crouch, I will still hit you over that window. Yeah. So... Once you learn that, there's a lot of areas where the Huntress just gets the hit. If she knows what she's doing. Dude, good Huntresses are always so fun to play up against. Because, like, the chases are usually fun unless it's like a hatchet left click immediately, and then you're like, well, that was fast. <laughs> I'll usually left click if the survivor's literally, like, right on top of me. Like, yeah. gonna loot me. Oh. My last one. No. <laughs> See, and that's one thing. If you keep on crouching, yeah, the hunters catch up. Yeah, I wasn't up, gonna yeah. commit. <laughs> I wasn't gonna commit to, it, and I was gonna try to throw it, thinking yeah. that you're gonna pop up. Uh, where are you? Are you inside repairing this gen? Yeah, they are. One's in a locker as well. No. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> go. Oh, it's, yeah, that's right. That counts as a solid wall. Oh, is that all? Oh, uh, that's, that's annoying. Yeah, no so wait, if that's a solid wall, that means people can't stock, right? Uh, no, they cannot. Yeah. Huh. Does corn count as a semi-wall? No, corn, when you're inside the corn, there are actually a couple of restrictions for stocking through the corn. Yeah. It's actually based on how many, uh, because corn is actually like a decal in certain terms. It depends on how many survivors are in between you and the decal. Kim's farming me? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting ready for work, but thanks for showing me all that, dude. Like I freaking I feel like big brain now. Holy dude. All one right. by one they fall. But yeah, it definitely takes practice, but you know, good Skip luck. Skip work. Yeah, like uh, when when I played Hunters a few days ago, like I was trying to figure out loops and like learn their hitboxes and what I could do and couldn't do. Even like if it gave me up, if, even if it gave up a generator or something, I was like, oh, well, I'm learning, you know? <clears throat> Recipes. Oh, they, that's the way to do it. Flat. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! And here comes Dino. Oh. There it is. Oh, Damn. Damn. Animation locks. Oh. Damn, dude. Yeah, so once you realize that counts as a standing hitbox, you can actually safely go around most medium loops at the pallets down and just make them commit to uh, sliding over the pallet to get hit no matter what. That's really crazy, hope no dude. one has decisive. <laughs> I I don't have to say so. It's not even active. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. <laughs> no, please, no. I beg of you, no. Yes, Let's kill him first. Let's be fun. Yes. At least put me in the basement. No, he'll struggle no. off. Kill him now. No, <laughs> no. Do it. <laughs> no. Uh, how do you say your name as well? Uh, you Curie? Yukari. Is it true the closer Yukari. you go to the Huntress, the harder it is for her to hit a hatchet? Most of the time, uh, if, the, if they're right on top of you, just flick in the direction that you think they're going to rotate around you. Where'd you go? Wait a minute. He's by me. I am but a ghost. No, Dino! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he'll never expect this. 